What's going on guys? Welcome to you Go Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your computer IP address in the Windows 7 and Windows 10 PC using the batch file. So here we're just going to enter CMD and then we're going to run this um, command prompt as an administrator. And then here we're going to type in the command IP config slash all. So this is going to give us a list of information about our network. Our IP address here is 192.168.135.131. So we're going to come down here to this icon, as the network icon, right click, and then click on Open Network and Sharing Center. Then we'll click on Change Adapter Settings, and then double click on Local Area Network. Click on Details, and then this is to see details of our network here, the subnet marks, the IP address, which is 192.168.135.131. Okay, so we want to be able to change the IP address uh, by using the batch file. Okay, so um, the first thing we're gonna do is to um, go to the Windows icon here and search for Notepad. So we're gonna click on Notepad. So here we're gonna create a batch file uh, with some commands in it. So we're gonna write type in here, at echo of and then press enter go to new line remember we're going to save this file as a with an extension the batch file so let's continue and then here we're going to say net sh and then interface we're going to type in here interface ipv4 all right and then we're going to set here our address and then and the address name is going to be so how you get the address name Let's just put in here a space for now. We'll come in here, click on Open Network and Sharing Center. Uh, click on Change Adapter Settings. So this here, right click, just right click and rename. So this local area connection is the name that we need. So copy that and then paste it in here in between these double, um, double quotes. Okay. So we're good. So um, the next thing we're going to do here is to type in static. And then uh, we're going to type in here uh, the IP address which we want to change to. So it's here we want to change it to 192.168. And then we're going to have here 135, if I'm not mistaken. I'll type in here 135. And then here we're going to have um let's check the ip address once more what do we have in here um this is ending in 131 okay so um what are we going to change this to let's change it to 128 127 okay and then here uh we're going to type in here our subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0 right as the subnet max here you can see it here as a subnet mask All right so that's here that's 255.255.255.0 okay so and then the lastly we're going to tap in here our dns server which is 192 168 135 and 2 it's here so let me show you that real quick. So that's the DNS server. This is it. I'm just going to copy this down and paste it right there. All right. So this is it also. That's the DNS server. All right. So haven't typed this. Uh, we have to type one more command to change the uh, DNS server. All right, so we're good here. We have NetSH interface IPv4 set address name. The name is going to be that name that I've just showed you. Okay, so right now I'm going to type in here at echo of and NetSH interface and then um, IPv4 also. And here we're going to set here our DNS. And the name here is going to be um, let me show you that real quick. Just have to copy the same local area network. So it's going to have the same name. So paste that in here. Use the double quotes. 
right so here we're going to type in here static and then we can pretty much choose 8888 uh, that's for google internet all right or we can as well type in the same dns server here which is 192.168.135 and 2 we can type it in here also but i just want to put in here 8888 all right so if you come in here click on this click on change adapter settings double click on this right click on properties and we're going to click on I, um, internet protocol 4 so you can see here it is set to automatically as uh, um, the ip address here so let's x out of this all right so um next thing is to save this file oops there's a mistake here let's go back all right so this is 8888 so we're going to click on file and then save as and i want this to be in the desktop and then here i'm going to set this to all files make sure it's all files and then give it any name we want with an extension of bat so i'm going to type in here change underscore ip dot bat that's bat batch file and i'm going to click save and i can x out of this okay all right um let's just leave this for now so here we're going to right click and then we're going to run this as an administrator so that's how you change it so click on yes and then boom that's all the ip address is changed using this single click here all right so if we come in here initially our ip address here is 192 168 135 131 as it here all right so we're going to check the ad ip address real quick here so by typing the same command ip config slash all hit enter and as you can see the ip address is being changed to 127 so this is an easy way you can change your ip address rather than clicking different buttons all right so if you click on properties and then go to um, internet protocol 4 oops it's a mistake here not here click on this then click on properties you can see everything here is set instantly all right so um let's just close this so this is how you can change your ip address in a windows 7 machine right so um i will equally show you let me just copy this and move to a windows 10 computer and then let me paste that in here as you can see it's there change ip address all right so you click on here click type cmd i'm going to run this as an administrator the same process we use click yes and then here we're going to type in the command ip config slash all so this is a new system this is the windows 10 system right so you see the ip address here 192.168.135.129 okay so we're going to change this to 128 so let's see how we're going to do that real quick okay so let's quickly open up this batch file all right so um the only thing i did here was to change it to 128 okay save so let's close this all right so i'm going to run the command right now right click run as administrator hit yes and you can see there's a problem here it's not working now there's a problem here so the solution here is is going to be the network name okay so it's, when we hit on the command ip config slash all there is no changes so let's minimize this real quick so hit on the um, network icon click on open that then click on change adapter setting oops did it twice so look at the name here is different from that of the windows 7 so right click rename copy this name that's ethernet zero okay let's x out of this also so we're going to open this file once more edict as it here so what we're going to do is to change up this local area connection and then change it to the ethernet zero so we're going to change this one as well also change it and that's all you can equally you can save this you can equally change this to ip and not ipv4 remove the v4 save that 
okay so and that's all that's all the change you need to make here all right so we're going to x out of this i'll probably leave it all right and then let's bring up our command line and then enter this what are we seeing here one nine two one six eight one three five one two nine so let's change this so right click run as an administrator hit yes and it's working right now so no problem so let's check so issue up the command once more and when we check the ip address we can see it there 192.168.135.128 so we've been able to change it from 129 to 128 so this is how you are going to change the ip address by clicking by clicking a file all right so you don't need to go through those process of changing um clicking different buttons typing different commands so in one click you're able to change the ip address of your computer in windows 7 you can also do this in windows 8 and then windows 10 pc all right so don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, like this video share this content to your friends to be able to help them out in their daily activities all right so like this video subscribe and then tell your friends about this channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.